This video provides instructions for 3M Tegaderm CHG Clohexidine Gluconate IV Securement Dressing 1657R for care and maintenance with a hemodialysis catheter. This all-in-one antimicrobial transparent dressing combines infection reduction with site visibility, catheter securement, and breathability into one easy-to-use product. Prepare the site according to your facility's protocol. Apply skin prep and allow to dry completely. A skin protectant such as Kevlon No Sting Barrier Film may be used to prevent Marcy under dressings. Do not apply to skin around the insertion site where the CHG gel pad will be placed. Allow skin protectant to dry completely. Open the Tegaderm CHG package and remove the sterile dressing. This dressing has perforations at the keyhole notch to conform around large catheters. If required, tear the perforations before removing the liner. Peel back the liner from the dressing to expose the adhesive surface. Center the CHG gel pad over the catheter insertion site with the adhesive facing the skin. Fold the dressing slightly outwards to avoid stretching the dressing during application. Gently lay the dressing down and smooth down the edges. Avoid stretching the dressing to reduce the risk of skin trauma. Apply gentle firm pressure to the entire dressing. Remove the paper frame while smoothing down the dressing edges. Smooth the Tegaderm CHE dressing from the center towards the edges using gentle but firm pressure. Apply the large notch securement tape strip with the notch oriented back towards the insertion site, under the tubing and overlapped back onto the dressing border. Document the dressing change information with a ballpoint pen on the label strip and apply the label strip to dressing. The Tegaderm CHG dressing should be changed every seven days or according to your facility's established protocol or when the dressing becomes loose or soiled, the gel pad is saturated or in cases where there is swelling, visible drainage or lost visibility. When bathing or showering, cover and protect the dressing. Dressing is not intended to absorb large quantities of blood or drainage. Monitor and test the saturation by lightly pressing down on the corner of the gel pad. If the gel pad remains indented, the dressing should be changed. This dressing has perforations on the large securement tape strip to aid with dressing removal. Use both hands to tear apart down the center of the securement tape. Gently grasp the edge of the dressing and slowly peel the dressing from the skin, supporting the skin and catheter to minimize catheter dislodgement. Keep removal low and slow. Avoid skin trauma by peeling the dressing back rather than pulling it up from the skin. When the CHG gel pad is exposed, Grasp a corner of the gel pad and the transparent film dressing between thumb and finger. If necessary, use alcohol wipes or sterile saline to facilitate the removal of the gel pad. Continue the low and slow removal method until the dressing has been completely removed. This concludes the overview of the application, care, and maintenance of 3M Tegaderm CHG Clohexidine Gluconate IV Securement Dressing 1657R with a Hemodialysis Catheter.